HIV-1 is a virus with a high replication rate. Within infected CD4 cells, the viral nucleocapsid breaks open, releasing two RNA strands and essential replication enzymes, such as HIV-1 reverse transcriptase. It is a heterodimer with a P51 subunit and a P66 subunit. The P66 subunit contains a finger, a palm, and a thumb region, resembling a cupped hand. Reverse transcriptase has two catalytic domains, the ribonuclease H active site and the polymerase active site. Here, single-stranded viral RNA is transcribed into a RNA-DNA double helix. Ribonuclease H breaks down the RNA. The polymerase then completes the remaining DNA strand to form a DNA double helix. This proviral DNA contains the genetic material of HIV-1. Therapeutic suppression of viral replication slows down the decline of CD4 cells and disease progression. Nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, inhibit the polymerase active site. After metabolism to non-functional nucleotides, their incorporation causes chain termination. The non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NNRTIs, form another class of powerful antiretroviral agents. They inhibit reverse transcriptase by reducing its conformational flexibility. The thumb region of reverse transcriptase is flexible. It opens and closes like a hand. Only the closed position allows transcription of RNA. The base of the thumb has a hydrophobic, pocket-like binding site. This is the target of NNRTIs. Nevirapine is an important representative of this class. It does not need to be metabolized. In its native form, nevirapine binds in the pocket. This locks the thumb in the open position and prevents the transcription of RNA. Thus, nevirapine stops viral replication. Due to this mechanism, nevirapine is a potent partner in the combination therapy of HIV-1 infection.